you ready? You're ready. Okay, good. So this is uh, the Utah Conference promo. Uh, can you see my gold chain? Because that's important. Yeah, I can see it. It's good. Okay, good. Okay, everybody. Hello. I am Reverend Tony Ponticello, and I am here in the brand new office for Community Miracle Center. So I welcome you to our, our new office. Uh, Reverend Kelly is here on the camera. Say hi, Reverend Kelly. Hi. Okay, so as you may know, uh, a wonderful opportunity is coming up, and it's about a conference, and of course a Miracles conference, that is going to be happening over Easter weekend, which is April 14th, 15th, and 16th this year, 2017. And it's in a wonderful mountain resort in Midway, Utah, which is just a short drive from Salt Lake City, Utah. So uh, that's what I'm here to tell you about, Easter Resurrection A Course in Miracles Conference. Now perhaps some of you have seen a recent video done by uh, Jimmy Twyman and David Huffmeister, Bill Free, Lisa Natoli, and Vicki Poppy. It was a great video. Might have been a little better if I was in it. Anyway, it was a great video and it's all about the amazing energy and the amazing experience that we're all going to tap into when we get there at Utah. And I'm so excited about that. You know, sometimes people say, well, why go to conferences? Because the joining, the joining that we feel. There's that A Course in Miracles quotation, thoughts increase by being given away, the more who believe in them, the stronger they become. So when we join physically like that and really just give our thought of oneness and peace and miracles away, it just becomes so much stronger for us. And that's what happens at conferences like these. So I, I really hope you attend and I can't wait to see you there. Sometimes we like to think about the wonderful peace that A Course in Miracles gives to us and, and provides for us. And I love peace. Who doesn't love peace? But I also like to think about the strength and the power that studying A Course in Miracles gives to us. And actually, if I may, I'd like to interject just a little bit of testosterone into this discussion about A Course in Miracles. You know, there's, there's not enough testosterone in this A Course in Miracles community. It seems to be like totally estrogen drenched. So uh, allow me to interject just that little bit of manly testosterone into this discussion. I, as I said, love peace, but I love strength too. And A Course in Miracles teaches us that we need strength to do Jesus' will and the Holy Spirit's will. A Course in Miracles tells us that the slogan for the Great Crusade is listen, learn, and do. In 2011, the Community Miracle Center devoted a whole conference to that theme of listen, learn, and do. And I tell you, I want to be one of the doers. No, it's the wrong sign. Oh, other one. I want to be one of the doers. And I know many of you there want to be that too. A Course in Miracles starts with that wonderful line. You will see miracles through your hands, through me. And that's what I intend to bring to the Utah Conference, a real sense of miraculous doing. And we have to challenge ourselves sometimes to actively do. And sometimes I think that takes a little male testosterone challenging energy. Come a little closer. Now, I want you to know that I'm going to uh, uh, Utah as a free agent. I will be alone, uh, not bringing anybody with me. So. Um, uh, you know, I take that A Course in Miracles teaching about special relationships really, really literally, that you cannot enter into any f real relationships with any of God's sons unless you love them all and equally. Well, I have my whole life tried to live that really. So um, I know love is not special. So if you'd like to come and spend a little time with me, then just remember, I am both polyamorous and bisexual, and I would love to see you in Utah. So, come on and check me out in Utah. Let's get back to the idea of peace. So, um, peace, you know, it's a great thing, but let me tell you, peace can be faked. Uh, it's easy to look peaceful, but you can't fake strength, especially you can't take, fake uh, physical strength. In Las Vegas, I did a presentation 
And I talked a lot about body image and I wanted to challenge our idea of body image. And so I took off my clothes there in Las Vegas. It was a, a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I always wanted to say that I've stripped in Las Vegas. So now I can say that. And I promised Jimmy that I wouldn't be stripping here for this video. And I promised Jimmy that I wouldn't be stripping there in Utah. You have to pay a whole lot more money than that to see me strip. So I did though, when I was in Las Vegas, I did 30 push-ups as a way of really challenging myself and to really affirming for myself that nothing was impossible and that I had the strength of God inside of me. Of course, in Miracles tells us, there is a place in you where nothing is impossible. There is a place in you where the strength of God abides. So I want a challenge. I want a real man challenge here, a real masculine challenge. Who can do push-ups with me in Utah? Jimmy Twyman? Nah. David Hoffmeister? I don't think so. Lisa Natoli? No girl push-ups. Got to do the real boy push-ups. Vicky Poppy? Nah. Ah. Bill Free. Hey, Bill Free. You might be able to do 30 push-ups. That will be interesting. Bill Free, how about a little mano a mano challenge here, huh? Meet me on the stage in Utah and let's see who can do more push-ups. Yeah, there's a real challenge. Let's see who has the miraculous physical strength to do more push-ups on the Utah stage. That'll be so much fun. Now, when I, I did the push-ups in Las Vegas, I want you to know that I had been working out for some time to work up to that, and I must admit I've let it slip just a little bit. So, I don't know how many push-ups I'm going to be able to do right now, but Reverend Kelly, if you would count, I'm going to give it a shot. Okay. Don't worry, Jimmy, all I'm taking off is my jacket. Okay. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, on the up, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16 all the way up, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, you're almost there, 26, 27, yeah, 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 go, 28, <laughs> no. Oh. Okay, that was my best shot. But I got 67 days before midway. And I intend to really be working this because I don't want that Bill Free guy to beat me. So please, click on the link that you see on this video. And when you do, make sure you're signing up that Reverend Tony Ponticello sent you. And if you go to the main conference page, make sure you click on my picture so that I get credit and expect to be absolutely miraculous there in Midway, Utah, April 14th, 15th, and 16th. Thank you. See you in Utah. You still Yay. see my gold chains? Yeah, they're still good. Okay. Thanks. You're good.